Uh, this is the other half. I, I used a cup of water, cup of, uh, I mean a cup of water, three tablespoons of honey, and uh, warm water, sorry, and a half teaspoon of yeast. Mix it up, let it ferment, and uh, this same Tupperware with the lid on it, just the water and yeast by itself. Till about 30 minutes or till the lid pops. And uh, if it looks foamed up some, I mix, and then it's time to mix flour in. I mix two cups of flour, and then uh, I mixed it thoroughly so that it was dewy. And then uh, put the lid back on, put it in the uh, warmed up microwave for about an hour and a half about, and it pop again, and then took it out, add another cup of warm water, and two more cups of flour, and then, uh, oh yeah, a teaspoon of sea salt, no oil, mixed it all up again, and then Put the lid back on, put it in the microwave again, and uh, uh, waited for another hour or so until the lid popped again. Once the dough rises enough, just heat the microwave up a couple of minutes. Once the dough warms up and starts rising, the lid will eventually pop. It'll make a popping noise. That's time to uh, take it out and... I, let it, I took it out, opened the lid, shut it, put it back in for another half hour, and it popped, or it was about to pop again. I took it out, opened the lid, slid in the fridge. Uh, it was only half of all that. I waited, uh, a, I waited overnight. I already baked half in a pizza. I'm going to make this in another pizza, but this is only half of it after two days of proof. Uh, stirred the batch three day, uh, two days ago, and this is the other half uh, from yesterday after I kneaded it with just flour. And I sprayed the uh, Tupperware with cooking spray. Uh, put the dough balls, put a little extra virgin olive oil over it, and then uh, proofed it again for about an hour in a warm microwave. And then I uh, used half, and then today. I, p I put the other half back in the fridge. It was just a ball that was like half the size, and now it looks like this. And uh, today I'm gonna bake another pizza with it, and I just just coated this with the uh, cornbread mix, or just cornmeal will work too. Uh, helps to get like super thin. So using a clean brush like this, just for food. And uh, just spreading the crumbs around. I like dusting of it. Just spread them around so there's no clumps. And it's just, just cuts the surface slightly. There are clumps of it. And uh, I'll put the dew on. Oh, that's after spraying it too. I sprayed it really good with this cooking spray. Uh, this is this is pretty much just too with the cooking spray and the oil on the outside a little bit because I was having problems with it tasting too dewy. Oh, that's what the bottom looks like, really nice after two days of sitting in the fridge. Let's let it totally come apart, and then I'll uh, Spread it out. Might have to spray your hands or wear gloves or spray your hands or the gloves with cooking spray or put a little flour on them. And uh, once it's come out of the Tupperware, just take it off there and spray it out the rest of the way. It looks like a pizza shape. Okay, I'll just mix in a little garlic, salt, oregano, and to this great value marinara sauce. There are Italian seasonings. Mix it into there. Uh, now I'm just going to spray around. I got my dough spread out. Shape of pizza. 
It was better to go with a little, like, uh, a little thicker on the outside, but kind of got it flat this time. It'll still turn out all right. But this recipe is pretty much uh, just putting the oil on the outside. Don't mix it into the dough, and that way it'll be more like bread instead of too doughy. Um, and the dough won't cook right if it's got the oil inside of it. Took me a, quite a few batches to figure it out. And we've got the toppings on. I'm putting it on 400. About two. Maybe like 17, 18 minutes. Just about the same amount of time, maybe 425, just like a store bought pizza that's not frozen. Uh, I got 425, 15, 16 minutes. Yeah, I'll just put it at 400 for that long. Yeah, it was 15 minutes. Start the video and it's done. I uh, just pull it out. I had it on broil like two minutes and then shut the oven off, let, let it sit another two minutes, and I baked it for about 20 minutes at uh, 400. Turn out nicely. Yeah, like cool it yeah, I'll cut some slices and try to get a picture of that in the video too. Or a video of it. I just figured I'd make, well, I didn't have the mushrooms and I guess I could have put veggie crumbles for the beef, but I figured I'd just add this, make some topping. Okay, here's the slices. That dough without the oil on it, it comes out perfect. It's like a, well, all that oil from the pepper hanging there just kind of blocked it, but it's cooked all the way through. You can see the bubbling in the dough and it's baked all the way through. Uh, it's nice and crisp. It tastes like Peter Paper pizza, this dough mix. I'll put the recipe in the description box again. Yeah, this pizza is really good. Yeah, I compare it to the dough flavor to like Peter Paper pizza. They got some good dough. It tastes similar. But yeah, it's like cooking all the way through. And there's the other slice. Well, the cheese melted over that part, but it's, it's, it's cooked all the way through. I could have went a little longer on the baking or higher temp, like 425 for... Or 450 for like 15 minutes. I bake the bottom a little better. And then like two minutes of broil on top. I'll put the ingredient for the dough again in the description and how to mix it.